All right, I am for the plaintiff, Ms. Hunt. I am the court. I am the witness. And I am for the defense, Ms. White. This will be 10 minutes. Here we go. What did you do at that time? We directed the defendant to place his hands where we could see them and step away from the bench. Excuse me, Your Honor, if the witness could be directed to just testify as to what he personally did, that would make it easier. Is that an objection? Yes, Your Honor, objection. I can clear it up, Your Honor. All right, overruled. Next question. Officer, when you entered the garage, what did you do? I instructed the defendant to put his hands where I could see them. All right, did he immediately comply? Yes, he did. Was there anyone else in the garage with the defendant when you first approached? Yes, there was another male subject who was seated on the west side in a recliner. Were any instructions given to that subject? Definitely, he was instructed to do the same thing, to display his hands and to get down on the ground. Did you also order the defendant to get down on the ground? No, I did not. I just instructed him to step back from the work area. Now I want to show you some pictures here and see if you recognize these. Are you going to be marking these as exhibits at this time? Yes, Your Honor. I have three photographs that I would like to mark as next in order. They may be so marked for identification. Okay, on this photograph here, 16, do you recognize what this depicts? Yes, that is the chair where the other male subject was sitting when we entered the garage. All right, and how about 17? That would be the workbench area where the defendant was standing. And how about 18? That would be another view of the same place where the defendant was when we first entered. Now I want to ask you about what you found when you entered the garage. You testified earlier that you had been observing the defendant for some time. Yes, that's correct. How was it that you were first connected to the defendant? Objection, vague. Sustained. What was it that brought you to be outside his home that morning? We had been monitoring drug activity in the neighborhood and had traced some of the sales to that address. Did you have any knowledge before that day of what kind of drugs you were expecting to find at that residence? Yes. Did you expect to find cocaine? Objection. Leading. Sustained. Let me go back and start it this way. You testified before that you have the information from Officer Brown that the defendant had sold him drugs. Is that right? Yes, it is. And tell the jury now who Officer Brown is. He is a police officer for the Anaheim Police Department and he was working as an undercover officer. All right. Now, is he your partner? He is not my partner, but we do work for the same department. All right. Now, without telling us what Officer Brown relayed to you, were you of the opinion that the defendant was dealing drugs out of his home? Yes. Had you observed any drug transactions yourself between the defendant and Officer Brown. Yes, I had. All right, tell us approximately how many had knowledge of. Objection, Faye. Your Honor, this deals with the subject matter that we discussed before. All right. If we could have a time frame, I think that would take care of the objection. A counsel, perhaps you could rephrase your question. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Officer, in the three months before the defendant's arrest, how many transactions did you observe before or between the defendant and Officer Brown? I would estimate that there were approximately 10. And those would be times where Officer Brown was buying drugs from the defendant? Yes. What drugs did he buy in his undercover role? It was mostly cocaine, but there was also marijuana and some meth. All right, now when you made entry to the defendant's home, tell us what you saw. The defendant and another male were passing packaging cocaine. What did you see on the work table in front of the defendant as you approached him? There were several small bindles of a white substance immediately in front of him. There was also a scale and packaging materials. Now I assume that the defendant was removed from the residence at some point, is that correct? Yes. Was he arrested? Yes, both subjects were arrested eventually. Okay, did you conduct a search of the premises at that time? Yes, we did. Were you involved in that search? I was, that's correct. Tell us what else you found on that day. Do you mean just in the garage or the entire house? Let's start with the garage where the defendant was standing. If you could start with the work table area where you observed the defendant, was there something else that you saw on that table? Yes. In addition to the drugs, there was also a box of ammunition on the table. What kind of ammunition are you talking about? There was a box of shotgun shells to the right of the table. Right above the table was a shelf that had loaded 
shotguns. Was that within reach from where the defendant was standing? Objection. Speculation. Sustained. Well, how tall was the shelf where you observed the gun? I would estimate that it was approximately eight feet off the ground. All right. Did you see that shotgun as you first approached the garage? Yes, I did. Is that one of the reasons why you asked to have the defendant's hands where you could see them? Well, that's standard whenever we are approaching suspects, but the knowledge that there were weapons in the garage is also a consideration. Did you have knowledge before that day that the defendant was known to have weapons in his possession? Yes, I did. And did that come from Officer Brown? Objection. Calls for hearsay. I will withdraw the question, Your Honor. All right. It is withdrawn. I have no further questions at this time, Your Honor. All right. Cross-examination. Thank you, Your Honor. If I could just have a moment before I begin. Yes, that's fine. Officer, I want to ask you some questions about your surveillance of my client's home. All right. You testified before that you arrived on the scene at approximately 6 o'clock that morning. Is that right? Yes, I did. Where did you position yourself upon arrival? I was in the police van that was parked down the street from the defendant's location. Did you arrive to that location in that van? No, the van was there before I arrived. I was in an unmarked vehicle. I parked around the corner and then walked to the van. So you were familiar with where the van was parked before you arrived there? Yes. How did you know where the van was when you arrived there? Objection. Irrelevant. Overruled. You may answer. I was in telephone contact with the officers in the van. I already knew what the van looked like, so it wasn't hard to find. All right. Describe what kind of automobile this is for the jury, please. It is just a regular van, similar to what you would see on the road. Was it equipped with all the fancy equipment in the back section like we see in the movies? No, definitely not. It is similar to a regular passenger van that we utilize. All right, now once you were inside the van, were you able to observe the front of my client's home? I could see the garage, but not the front of the residence. Was the door open when you initially arrived? Correct. All right, now did you see the defendant at that time? Not when I first arrived. Mr. Blake was in the garage by himself. Mr. Blake is the other man that was in the garage and was arrested with the defendant. Yes, that is correct. Okay, when did you notice my client to enter the garage that morning? He left the house and came around to the garage just before 8 o'clock. Did he remain within your vision the whole time until you arrested him? Yes, he did. All right, did you actually enter the residence at that address? Yes, I did. Was there anyone else in the home on that morning? Yes, the defendant's wife and two of his children were there. Did you have any contact with the defendant's wife? Yes, I did. When did you first have any contact with her? We were securing the residence and asked everyone to step into the living room. All right. Where was the defendant's wife when you first spoke to her? She was in the kitchen at the table with her daughter. I believe they were working on homework. All right. After my client was arrested, did you have a conversation with his wife? Yes, I did. What did you ask her? I asked her if she was aware of her husband's activity. And what was her response? Objection. Calls for hearsay. Sustained. Your Honor, it goes to state of mind. Sustained. Next question, please. Was anyone else present during your conversation with his wife? The child was there initially. I asked Mrs. Fox if I could speak to her in private. Why did you do that? I didn't want to have the conversation in front of the children. All right, what happened after that? There was another woman in the home and she came and took the kids out while I was talking to the defendant's wife. Did you arrest his wife that day then? No, I did not. Is it fair to assume you did not arrest her because she wasn't involved in anything illegal then? Objection. Calls for legal conclusion. Overruled. You may answer. She was not arrested. That is because she had done nothing wrong. Is that right? She wasn't arrested at that time because we didn't think she should be. Has she since been arrested? Objection. Irrelevant. Sustained. Your Honor, we need to approach sidebar on the record, please. Is this something that we can address at the break after the jury leaves? Yes, Your Honor. If I may have a moment, Your Honor. Certainly. Your Honor, after conferring with Ms. Hunt, I have nothing further at this time. Do you have any redirect? Just briefly, if I may. All right. Officer, I just wanted to clear up something here. As you were watching the defendants in his garage, did you observe what you believe to be a drug sale? Yes. 
Yes, I did. And did you have prior knowledge that something was going to occur at the defendant's home that afternoon? Yes, our undercover people had given us information. Is that why you were there that day or was this just a random event? It was not random. We had been watching the defendant for that very purpose that day. All right, and the information that you had been given was that the defendant was selling cocaine marijuana and meth out of his home is that right yes that's right on the day that you arrested the defendant did you collect evidence from the defendant's home well i didn't collect it but other officers did were you made aware of certain evidence that was collected yes i was the one in charge of overseeing that process did you make a list of everything that was seized from the defendant's home yes i did before evidence is taken from the scene are there photographs that are taken yes now is everything labeled and marked in some way so that you can review that at a later time yes